Understanding Beat One's Breast, a guide to English idioms. Hello and welcome, everyone. In today's video, we're going to explore the fascinating world of English idioms. Specifically, we'll delve into the meaning and usage of the phrase, beat one's breast. This phrase is a great example of how English can use vivid imagery to express emotions and actions. So, let's get started and unlock the secrets of this intriguing idiom. The phrase, beat one's breast, is an idiom that originates from a literal action. Historically, people would hit their chests with their fists as a sign of strong emotion, especially sorrow or regret. In modern usage, however, this phrase is used figuratively. When someone says they are beating their breast, it means they are expressing deep remorse, regret, or guilt. It's important to note that this expression is more about the internal feeling and less about the physical action. To better understand, beat one's breast. Let's look at some examples. 1. After realizing his mistake, the CEO beat his breast in front of the entire company, apologizing for his decision. 2. In the novel, the character beats her breast in grief after learning about her brother's fate. These examples show how the phrase is often used in situations where someone is acknowledging a mistake or expressing sorrow. While, beat one's breast, is not as common in everyday conversation as some other idioms, it can be used effectively to convey strong emotions. For instance, if you're discussing a situation where someone is very remorseful, you might say, he was really beating his breast about what happened. Remember, it's more frequently used in formal or literary contexts. And that wraps up our exploration of beat one's breast. We hope this video has shed light on how English idioms can enrich our understanding of language and expression. Remember, idioms like this one add color and depth to our conversations. Thank you for watching, and we hope this has been an enlightening journey into the world of English language and idioms.